Hey everyone, welcome to today's edition of Wisconsin Johnson Outdoors. Today I'm up fishing on Lake Winnie and something just happened. Stay tuned for some more action. I just got uh, set up today here on Winnie and I got my underwater camera down, my rattle reel down, my jig pole down. <clears throat> and I saw this guy come swimming in on my underwater camera and so I went and checked my rattle reel and sure Sure enough, he was on there. About 18 and three quarters. The slot on Winnie is 18 to 23, you gotta throw back. And you can keep one over 23. So unfortunately, I gotta let this guy go. Oh, I got Northern down here. Okay, I'm finally kind of taking a, a moment here. It's been kind of a busy 10 minutes here. Caught that walleye um, on that rattle reel. I think it's been money. Caught that northern on the rattle reel and I caught one on my jig stick here. So hopefully, now that I'm, I'm ready, we get some more action here. Pretty much the same setup that I always do, my jig stick. And the rattle reel is over there in the corner. And then I just have my underwater camera hooked up here. Running down through that hole over there. I've been getting northerns in here all day. I just had like a dogfish or an eel pout come up and bump my camera. That's why it's spinning. There he is. He's, he's hit my camera like twice. You can definitely tell when a bigger fish is coming in here because I got marks all over my Vexilar from all these little perch I can see down there. And then all of a sudden then there's nothing there. And typically that's when I see those Northerns or even that eel pole come in. Guess who's back? I've always wondered if that underwater camera was spooking fish, even like last year. From what I've seen today, I don't think it spooks them. Um, didn't really spook that eel pole, but it is kind of interesting watching it down there, watching them come in on the screen. I think I'm paying more attention to my camera than I am my Vexilar. Let's try it. Got him. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna bring that eel pot up to the ice here. <laughs> Hold on. ugly little thing I might actually keep them and try to make what do they call it poor man's lobster out of them or cook them up big old belly on them oh. so on my jig head or my jig here I'm just using a minnow head 
And of course on my rattle reel, I got that lucky old red hook on it. Seems to be a lot more northerns than walleyes. I'm actually jigging in 20 feet of water. My rattle reel is set in 22 feet of water. And it's probably only three feet away from me. So I'm kind of right on a nice little ledge here. In those earlier videos that I have the description down below for when I was out here last year, it seemed like four o'clock was the hot time. Um, it's two o'clock right now, so I got a couple hours here to make sure I get everything situated. Okay, now oh, that's interesting. That's the first vehicle I've seen out on the lake. So here's where I came walking in from. That road kind of runs along the shoreline here. And then Bowen's Resort is right up there. Well, it's four o'clock. <clears throat> Haven't seen any walleyes yet, but I got a northern on my screen right now. And he's going to about hit my jig here in any second. Oh, I missed him. <clears throat> anyway, so far, just that one walleye, three or four northerns, and an eel poet. And this guy's going to come back again here. Just did a U-turn. Northern. Oh, I lost him. Came in twice and hit it. And I missed him. All right, it's getting too dark for the underwater camera, so I'm going to pull it. And I'll just concentrate on my Vexilar bit finder. And I'll give it probably another half hour or so. Well, that'll do it for today's edition of Wisconsin Johnson Outdoors. Uh, we didn't catch as many walleyes as we wanted, but definitely enough action on my underwater camera and catching some northerns and an eel pout to keep me busy. So thanks for watching. Stay healthy, and we'll see you next time. He's going to wrap his little, little ugly tail and body around my arm. I'm going to freak out. Oh. Ugly tail. Or... Mm -hmm.